Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your S&P 500 day trade setup for today. So measured moves have played out. Uh, targets have been almost hit. Um, this level up here at 4712, 4700 is basically my target area. It is also top of range, so um, not an area I want to be going long at the moment up there. If you start drilling down through the time frames, you can see we're still very much in this megaphone formation. Um, again, a bit of a crossover here. Uh, we've got the structure here that broke, but we'll see that clearer on the hour. And um, let's just get down to the hour because that is what we really want to be trading. As I said to you yesterday, move up, consolidation. If we break the upside, we're looking at a measured move. And the measured move was equal to the length of the last move up, which was that. And you can see we pretty much bang on that at the moment. So... Um, for me, that profit taking area out of all trades, and uh, now we wait for the next bit of structure. Now, what could transpire here? And let's just use this level here. What could transpire here is we form a, another range, a bit of a bit of a um, a tough area at the moment because it is top of range, and the range is being going on for uh, let's just do this so that's one two three four five six seven so we've been doing this for basically seven weeks like almost two months so trick for today is pretty much going to be the same as yesterday and that is get down to the 15 minute and you can see the european session here if yesterday it pretty much just went sideways. Um, and then we had inside bar, inside bar, off the bottom of the range. Um, oscillators were grouped quite nicely on the lower time frame, so from, from 15 minute down. Um, in and upward trend, you can see moving over is all pointing up. So pretty solid area to get in at the bottom of the range there uh, for a move to the upside, measured move hit. And then we sort of just above well, not so much measured move, sorry, measured move is up here, 4712. But 4700 being a round number, obviously, that would also attract the um, sellers. So at the moment, um, either we, we stay between 4690 and 4612 and eventually break above 4612. I don't think I want to take a break on this. I'd rather be taking a trade off the pullback. So anything down to 4690... Any bit of structure that's going to give me you know, something like this, uh, it's going to give me a uh, sort of a warm, fuzzy feeling is pretty much what I'll be looking at uh, getting in on. Uh, last thing is when I get down to the five minutes as well, just make sure that there's no gaps. There is a gap right there. You can see that gap quite clearly there. Just move that out the way. You can see there's a five minute gap. And there's another one down here. So, yeah. Just be a little bit cautious, I think. Uh, but we've been preaching that all week, haven't we? So yeah, I think the closer we get to Christmas, the, the more and more volatile it's going to get. And uh, I don't see us breaking out this range just yet. Remember, what we're trying to do is establish a yearly. Uh, we're trying to finish off a monthly bar, and we're trying to finish off a yearly bar. So the monthly bar is green at the moment, and the yearly bar started here, started there. Uh, dipped a little bit and then it's been one-way traffic so that's a pretty solid green bar and uh, that's kind of you know what we can see at the moment so for me just down to 15 minutes wait for the pullback uh, 46 90 areas is a decent area for a pullback and i'd definitely be taking profit at 47 12 i don't think i'd go beyond that okay anyway that's kind of my view at the moment um we need to wait for some better structure. If we do get the breaks, then I want to see a decent pullback onto it before starting to take a break of the range. Hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.